Are we at the mercy of the algorithm? I believe we're not. Hey guys, I'm Rachel Weaver and I'm your host of the BU Bay podcast. And today I want to talk about capturing the like hearts and the minds of our ideal clients. How can we attract them? How can we um, connect with them and really have a deeper relationship with them? I'm a fourth line, six line, two, four, six, and I love deep connection with people. I am not surface level in any way. And how can we connect more with people? And that in turn turns into clients and raving fans for us, right? How do we do this from an energetic standpoint? How do we do this from a human design perspective? All of those things, I really wanna dive into that today. And I'm really excited about it because I don't I subscribe to any of the algorithm stuff. I do write headlines that I feel like are exciting. There's something that will stop this, quote unquote, stop the scroll. Um, but it's not from this place of like, I want to like manipulate or anything like that. It's honestly, it's getting people to snap out of that mindless scroll. Or um, if they're looking for something, know that this that particular podcast episode is going to answer the questions they've been asking themselves, right? That's how I look for content. That's how I pick a podcast that I want to listen to. I will read the title and I'm like, oh, that's something I've been wondering about. I'm going to listen to the episode, right? If it's not telling me anything about the episode or if it's just saying an interview with so-and-so, I have no idea what you're going to talk about. And I don't know about you, but I don't have time for that. I have so many things that I'm already thinking about, contemplating, have on my plate, juggling in the air, that to not know what I'm going to spend the next hour listening to, it doesn't sit well with me. I want to know, right? So that's why we create titles that are descriptive enough to get people's attention to be like, hey, if you're wondering this or if you're questioning this, you need to listen to this. But beyond that, how do we really connect with people and draw them into our world so that they stay and they want to learn more, right? There are five things that I'm going to talk about today. That was a roundabout way of saying. <laughs> okay. And this isn't about pushing. This isn't about doing reels or TikToks or dancing if you don't really want to. I hear a lot, especially from spiritual entrepreneurs, which is the majority of the people that I talk to, you don't like social media. You don't want to be on Facebook. You don't want to be on Instagram. And while I totally resonate with that, I don't want to spend my time on that. I've actually spent too much time scrolling. I set limits on my phone now. Um, there is a certain element of how can we use this platform to serve us, use it as a visibility strategy, but also honor our own energy. And that's what we're going to talk about in these five things of how to leverage these different tools, right? They're all tools um, to understand how we can be more visible and connect with people. So the first one is honestly understanding your own definition. That's your human design type, your defined centers, your sun and mercury gates specifically. Um, those are all really, really important. And even channels, if you want to go even more nuanced, but really it's your your human design type, your defined centers, your sun gate, and your Murphy gate. Those are like the big ones that I look at. And when we understand how your energy works, right, then we can play with that and use it as a, a beginning place, right? We can eliminate all the things that we know are not going to be good, that we know are not going to work, um, and just focus on ones that we're like, well, let's play with this, right? So I want you to understand your own definition first and foremost. The second thing we need to do is craft that compelling message, that clear and compelling message. When someone comes to your Instagram page, it comes to your website, comes to your sales page, are they identifying with it immediately? That first thing that they see and read, they know exactly how it's going to help them or they know exactly what you're doing, right? So they know that they're in the right place. The worst thing that we can do for connection is be vague and not really give any inclination as to what you do, who it's for, just you're giving people confidence or come live your best life. I see that one, like, come live your best life. 
it means something different to everyone and it will not capture the people that you want to capture. And it's honestly, it's just going to repel the majority of the people. That first headline, that first like your bio line in your Instagram um, feed all need to show people why they should stick around, right? Really give that some time to think about, well, if I was my ideal client and put yourself in their shoes and they read your Instagram bio, would they care? Would they know what you do? Like be really, really critical because it's the, it's that next step that someone's going to say, oh, this is interesting. I want to see what they, I want to read more. I want to read their content. I want to read the next post, right? It's all about engaging with the right people and just leading them on a journey, right? Getting them to say, oh, yes, next step, please, right? So are you talking about what they're struggling with? Are you talking about their desires? Both the like tangible red hot moment struggle that they have and then the deeper ones, the ones that they are free to voice, but you're saying And then what is that tangible result that you are going to give them, right? Really making sure you understand and know clearly what the answers to these questions are is going to drastically change your messaging and it's going to make it so much easier to understand what you do, right? The third one is finding that visibility strategy that works for you. Now, there's a million different ways of being visible online. It's podcasts, it's YouTube, it's writing content, it's blogs, it's um, PR. Like there's so many different ways. Ads <laughs> go on and on and on. What is the one that is going to work with your energy? So do you like to talk? Do you prefer to write? Do you, you um, really like having conversations with someone? Like, do you like creating it in um, your cave and then just putting it out there, right? How do you like to create content and using that as the base point and going, okay, what is the strategy that's going to utilize the way I like to create, right? There are people that love making dancing videos and TikToks and all that stuff. I'm not one of them. Um, I also have a... I take everything with like this experimental lens. Maybe it's the sixth line in me, but I don't attach to any one particular strategy being the end all be all. I look at all of the different things. I try things, take what worked and leave the rest and combine different things and leverage different things all to find the way that really works for me and that I feel is easy. Not, I mean, easeful, right? Like I can show up, I can be myself, don't overthink. Like it allows me to just express the way I want to express. That's what we're looking for. Um, and the other thing with visibility is like this idea of taking the next step. So you're visible, right? And your uh, bio is very specific. What is that next step someone's going to do? They're going to read those like top three pinned posts on your Instagram feed. What are those three pinned posts? Does it make sense with what you offer? Maybe one is an about you. One is something about offers. And maybe another one is um, just a piece of content that everyone really loved. Or um, maybe it's client testimonials or something like that, right? Giving them more information about who you are and why they should stick around, right? Making your content bingeable, I think, is something that people forget about. And especially when in this culture of creating something every every day, we have to create new content, always, always, always on this content wheel. How can we leverage the stuff that we've already made to work for us? So again, like stories, how can you organize your stories in a way that people can binge and really get to know you even more so that they can, all of it can be right there and they can consume what they want, know what the next step is, and then work with you, right? Really pulling these pieces together, bridging the gaps for people because they don't do it themselves. We don't take that next step unless it's you're saying, hey, here's your next step. We're weird little humans like that and that we need something that to respond to. Like majority of the population 
are response creatures, the man and gens and the gens. We need that thing to respond to in order to know, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do next, right? And then also making it super you as however you want to express the colors, the aesthetic, like look on Pinterest and find examples of what you love and how can you emulate that in your online presence? Um, what are things that just light you up when you see it? Do you love crystals? Do you love nature? Like how, make your feed be a representation of you. Kind of like you walk into someone's living room and you, um, maybe this is my de design background, but I want it to represent me. When someone walks into my house, I want them to go, oh my God, this is so Rachel. Um, or I, I just want them to look at it and go, oh, fits you. That's so you, right? Uh, same with your online presence. Wow, that's so you. That feels just like you. And when they see it, they don't even have to see your bio name or anything. They just know that it's you. That's when you know that your online presence is totally uniquely authentic to you is that someone doesn't even have to see your name. They know automatically when they see the post, it's you. And that's not necessarily an easy thing to do uh, when you're looking at what everyone else is doing and trying to copy it. Actually, it's almost impossible. So you have to look at what do you love? How do you want to show up and express yourself? Um, the fifth one is giving yourself permission to experiment. I haven't talked about this, but giving yourself that permission to experiment. You don't have to have everything figured out. You really, really don't. Just allow yourself to be like, well, what if I tried this? I want to see what happens, right? That's what I do. Really, treat it as an experiment. I don't know what's going to work. All I know is that everything is always working out. So if I try something and it doesn't go quote unquote the way that I think, is there a lesson there? Maybe I need to shift something. Maybe that strategy isn't what I like. Generally, if I enjoy doing it, it's a good strategy and it works and it brings clients. Um, if it's a strategy that I end up getting or I end up doing, and I'm like, oh, this sucks. Then it doesn't work. It's like it's the energy behind it always. Um, but by and large, give yourself permission. Everything's always working out. Just try. You're not looking for one silver bullet strategy. Absolutely not. You're looking for what's going to work for you. So anytime that you can take lessons from what you do know, apply it to what you are doing it now and experiment leading into the future, you're going to be so much better off and you're going to eventually look back and go, oh, well, that it all makes sense now. Like I've created my own strategy or my own combination of the strategy. Maybe that's the MG in me, but I feel like it applies to pretty much every human design type. Um, so that's the five things that I want you to think about as you are wanting to have deeper connections, really attract to the right people, capturing those hearts and minds of your ideal clients. These are the things that we need to really look at, examine, and make sure that we are coming to the table with our truest self. And you know, for me, like I take my time. Everything is done with intention because I don't want to create a business that I want to burn in six months, five years, whatever. I want something that has longevity. I want a business that supports me in the way that feels good for me with my time, with my effort, with all of it and that that takes intention so using your own um, discernment and intention moving forward how do you want to show up how do you want to use these visibility strategies in a way that feels good for you so and the last thing I want to leave you with is always like always asking these deeper questions always going back to alignment and is this feeling good is this working for me or is, 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 I can't talk. Is there any shoulds or have tos or they did it this way and it worked for them kind of energy happening? We want to clean that up and come back to, no, this is, this is what works for me. I know that everything is adding up. I'm always, um, attracting new things into my life to experiment and play with. So how can I do that more? Right. I am so excited. The club is open. The magnificent, magnificent, it is magnificent. 
<laughs> Magnetic Messaging the Club is open. If you want more of this kind of content where we're talking about the energetics, we're talking about human design, we're talking about how to be clear in your messaging, take a look at the link below. It's going to give you all the details on what's inside the club. It's DIY content, it's support through live audits, and there's a VIP option to really get into the energetics and how I approach messaging, mindset, and um, really shifting my own energy to align with my message and what I'm doing so that everything, heart, mind, and soul is all on board with what I'm creating, which is the fastest way <laughs> to manifestation, right? When it is a full-on being of your message, there is no question, there is no uh, doubt in your mind. You are you are it. It is here. It is now, right? That is the quantum leap of manifestation. So we'll get into all of that inside the VIP uh, if that interests you. So the doors will be open this week for sure. And I think they'll close. I don't have a date yet, um, but I think they'll close next week. So this is interesting. You jump in, talk about it, email me, let me know if you have questions. Um, and that's it, my friends. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I hope you enjoy your beautiful star. And I guess winter if you're down under. Bye, guys. <laughs>